right. We got Melanie Martinez Void. See what she got. I'm loving these titles that she chooses. I love everything she said in that verse. You know, there's rotten things in me injected by society. Um, and like you can kind of visualize that physically speaking, like something rotten that's literally injected from, from society. But of course, you know, I think she's really touching on these like thoughts that she has in her mind. And what an interesting sound. And it's kind of different from what I'm used to with her. Yeah. It's like you can kind of picture someone walking down the street.
what do you think? So there's a couple of lines that stuck out to me that I liked. One was, you know, my fickle insecurities and turn them into beauty. Well, she said, collect my fickle insecurities and turn them into beauty. Alchemize the dark within me. You know, alchemy, the whole idea of alchemy was to turn lead into gold, right? So what she's saying is like, she's taking the insecurities, which in this case is like lead. It's something that's holding you back. I think there's there's a tint of self-doubt in this song as well. Like these voices that are inside her, these intestines within her stomach that that gives her like these mixed emotions maybe she's internally conflicted and she's taking her insecurities and she's taking this self-doubt and she's turning it into gold by expressing this in music and i think that's what what art is and she does a really good job articulating that especially with her visuals and even with just lyrics and so she's using the things that she struggles with and using that as her gold as a strength and kind of like flipping it you know it's it's almost like that idea of people can be driven largely by security like insecurity when you feel insecure that can actually drive someone to push them forward to to better themselves because they're trying to fill that insecurity with something it's, it's actually the driving force that that pushes people to to go further and and so i like that line a lot like alchemize alchemize the dark within me you know it's, it's using that dark energy and bringing something good out of that you know that's that's a Jungian idea and you know that like integrating the shadow integrating your dark side and creating something out of that yeah I didn't catch that alchemy line um but it's good that you did because it relates so much to you know her her issues that she brings up internally um you know she talks about how the eyes that she's using she doesn't see I think can you pull that out I can't really Something about her eyes. Oh, here. My eyes are staring at me. Who says that, right? Like, my eyes are staring at me. She's implying that it's almost as if her eyes are staring at something other than herself. It's almost as if she's already divided herself when she's reflecting. It's almost like she doesn't recognize herself, right? She also talks about how her intestines are strangling her somehow and um you know like that definitely gives you that visualization that like even inside she feels like constricted which is such a weird feeling to feel because you don't even feel relaxed in your own skin is kind of how I saw it um and it's sad to still hear about her struggling with insecurities when you think about her whole lifetime within all of the albums, right? Like she talks through insecurity from time to time um, and also like issues with society. And it's sad to, you know, hear, right? Because it's such a real issue. Um, and, you know, it's something that, you sometimes don't realize someone's struggling with uh, because it's so internal. And so, you know, void, you know, it's it's this emptiness and, you know, she wants to, I think she um, is actually identified as they. So they feel this emptiness inside and, you know, I think if not often, we do feel this way from time to time and we want to escape it. And it's just a very relatable song um, for myself. And, you know, I'm interested to, to hear, you know, what this album's about, you know, sh sh for her first song is Death and now it's Void. It's very dark. Yeah, and, and there's a lot you touched on. Well, one thing I'll add to that line, like my eyes are staring at me, the way I perceive that is there, there's a part of you that's criticizing yourself. There's there's a part of you, I think um, psychology calls it like the, the observing ego, like you're constantly looking at yourself, judging yourself, criticizing yourself, wondering if 
you're ever going to be good enough. And that's where the insecurity comes from. Yeah, it's 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 the fear of societal judgment, the fear of how people are going to perceive you. That's a part of it. And the other part of it is like how you think society is going to perceive you. Right. So it's the external opinions, but then your opinion of how the external opinions are, are going to are going to impact you, you know, and so with celebrities, I think with Melanie Martinez, the more successful you get, the more eyes start to, the more eyeballs you start to attract, right? The more attention you get. And so I think that insecurity, it doesn't necessarily go away. It might even get worse because as you go on through the years, you realize there's more and more and more and more people watching you, which means there's more critique, there's more criticism, there's more people you know, reviewing your music and there's so much that comes with that. And I think it's something that like people tend to struggle with because you're always setting the bar too. Like you come out with a good album and then the next album you're thinking, oh my God, is this going to be as good as my last album? So I can see that being a struggle for, for artists. Yeah. We should rename this channel to Lessons with Mr. Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> Literature Lessons with Mr. Lopez. I'll be the student. Oh, why are you putting my last name up there, violated? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> In that scene? In that scene. <laughs> Yo, you stupid. <laughs> Literary lessons with Lopez.